Maria, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Jay. And we're going to be talking about the sensibility a little bit today, okay? That's great. So let's get right to it. Tell us about it, the Sons of Italy. Well, the Sons of Italy is a wonderful organization with a very long history of uniting Italian Americans, Italians, and those that are not Italian, as well as a wonderful history of uh, doing philanthropic acts that benefit all walks of society. Um, I've, been a, I've been a member of the Sons of Italy now for, for uh, 35 years, and it has been a wonderful experience for me, and I um, wish to share this uh, knowledge about this wonderful organization with all you out there. Okay, what is the Sons of Italy, Maria? Well, the Sons of Italy is the oldest and largest fraternal organization of Italian-American men and women in the United States. Uh, we have several hundred thousand members and family members all over the United States. And I myself am the president of the Grand Lodge of California, which encompasses lodges in the state of California from north to south. We have a lodge in southern Oregon in the Klamath Falls area. And we also have three lodges in Nevada, Sparks, Reno, and Las Vegas. And in the Grand Lodge of California, between members and family members, we have close to 10,000. Were the Sons of Italy founded, Maria? But before you answer that, we'd like to say that the Sons of Italy are not just the Sons of Italy. As you know, Figli d'Italia includes both sons and daughter, and grandchildren, and grandsons, and even non-Italians that can join the Sons of Italy. So when will we find it? Sons of Italy, which also encompasses daughters and grandchildren of Italy, as well as non-Italian members, we are firmly planted in the 21st century. We are a wonderful organization that promotes our Italian heritage, our Italian culture, our history. And at the same time, we perform good deeds, philanthropic deeds uh, for our communities in which we live and also uh, communities that are in need of assistance, whether it's because of an earthquake or because of a flood. The Sons of Italy is out there to help people in the communities in which we live. And uh, of course, now we're working, with, as you mentioned, with the Gary Sinise Foundation, where we raised some money. And I wanted to mention that Maria Grande Soprano, and you sang the national anthem uh, with Italy and America. A great performance, Maria. Thank you. It's how my pleasure. How about membership? Can you tell us uh, how many members uh, throughout the country? Okay, well, in membership, um, we have in the Grand Lodge of California, we have, oh, about between members and their families, we have around 10,000 members. And uh, we are very proud of our Grand Lodge of California because we are uh, very generous also. We give scholarships, we've given between, uh, on an annual basis, between 50 and $60,000 to students, high school students, to further their education in college. We also send two students to study Italian in Italy every year. And in addition to all our medical charities that we support, we have uh, birth defect libraries with all kinds of uh, cutting edge information about birth defects and medical cures for them and assistance in several uh, libraries and universities in California and in Nevada. And there are a lot of benefits to joining the order. Uh, first of all, you are you attend meetings and you are with brothers and sisters of the order. You're with fellow Italians and non-Italians alike, and you plan events, you plan cultural events, you plan fun events, you plan bocce games, you plan all kinds of events that attract people. And uh, we have a wonderful time, 
And as a member, you also will be able to receive a copy, a monthly copy of our Il Leone newspaper, which is a wonderful newspaper that tells what all the lodges in the Grand Lodge of California are doing and upcoming events and exciting things. And in addition, you will also get a beautiful copy of our uh, Italian America magazine, which is put out by our national lodge. It's a color magazine, absolutely gorgeous. It comes out four times a year and it tells you what the Italians throughout the United States are doing and what's happening on Capitol Hill in terms of Italian issues. And it's just a wonderful magazine to have. And so it's a great to belong to the Sons of Italy, to carry on your Italian heritage, to promote it with people that are Italian and with friends in your community. Maria, how is the organization structured, both local, statewide, and nationally? Okay, well, the National Lodge, or the Supreme Lodge as we call it, is headquartered in Washington, D.C. We have a beautiful uh, building, office building, and we also have representation on Capitol Hill. And under the National Lodge are several Grand Lodges distributed throughout the United States. And these Grand Lodges, in turn, have their own filial or local lodges. In the Grand Lodge of California, we have approximately 60 lodges from Northern California to Southern California, uh, Western Nevada, and Southern Oregon. Okay, now one more thing, and that is the coming events for the Grand Lodge. Okay, well, the Grand Lodge in March, the third weekend of March, we'll be having our Grand Council meeting, and that will be in Sacramento. And then also at the end of June, we will be having our yearly convention, which will also be in Sacramento. At that convention, we will elect new officers, including a new state president. We will have a bocce tournament. We will have a queen pageant, which showcases our beautiful young ladies representing our lodges. They are the ambassadors of youth, and we are very, very proud of them. And we have a wonderful time. We get together, we sing Italian songs, we talk about our culture, we talk about all our charitable deeds. It's a great time to belong to the Sons of Italy. Great, and as oh. you know, you. Yes, go ahead. And also our lodges have their own individual events. So if anyone is interested, they can go to our website and there's link to individual lodges and they can see what's happening in their specific area of the state. Okay. And you will have support from Sacramento because as you know, I'm the co-founder of the Milano Lodge and I'm sure it's going to be a great event. Maria, grazie tanto. Thank you very, very much for the interview. And uh, buon anno, e ci vediamo, grazie. Or I should say, worthy president, you know. That is perfectly fine. Grazie anche a te, buon anno anche a te. Thank you so much, and I look forward to getting phone calls and hearing from prospective new members. We welcome you with open arms. Grazie e ciao. Ciao. Thank you.